My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterparopa.com. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. So I'm not saying that the murder, because he was murdered, a federal prosecutor in Miami, the same county uh, where the, the DNC lawsuit's being held, uh, Barrington J. Uh, Wisnant, found dead in Hollywood, Florida, on a ho Holly at Hollywood, Florida, beat at a beach with trauma to the head. So he was struck, uh, bludgeoned to death, or struck on the head by something. Almost certainly a murder. Nobody commits suicide that way. It doesn't make any sense. And um, nobody accidentally hits somebody on the head with something. This man had three children. He was a federal prosecutor. Thirteen federal prosecutors in a hundred years have been killed. Thirteen in a hundred years. That's according to CNN. That's below. Okay. Just happened to be in the same county. And Jared and Elizabeth Beck have, have notified everybody on Twitter. The champions, the two attorneys who are taking on the DNC virtually by themselves. The entire progressive media establishment is uh, sobbing and passing Kleenex to cry and do other things. Uh, that they like to do all the time instead of actually fighting against the one thing that elected Trump. It wasn't even Trump voters or Trump. It was the DNC and a very corrupt, immoral, unethical, dirty, underhanded, disingenuous, duplicitous, disgusting Democratic Party. We can't say that Barrington J. Uh, Wesnant uh, was killed because of the DNC lawsuit, but we can say that 13 uh, prosecutors have been killed in 100 years. It's very, very rare. That was just the other day, okay? Just happened to be in Miami, just happened to be in the, the uh, location of where... Um, the DNC lawsuit is also an issue. Okay, just a coincidence. Well, the murder of Seth Rich, just a coincidence. It was a botched robbery. So you have a person getting slammed in the head with an object, just, I guess, just happens. And then you have a person shot in the back. That happens too. And of course, WikiLeaks, that always, ha for every botched robbery, there's WikiLeaks reward, WikiLeaks numerous times retweets, uh, Kim.com saying that he's willing to testify under oath. He has evidence that Seth Rich was a WikiLeaks source. July 10th, 2016 was his death. July 10th, 2016. Now we're going to get to Sean Lucas. Sean Lucas... I'll read you something very interesting. So, on August 2nd, the official report from the Metropolitan Police Department, Washington, D.C., indicates that officers Catherine Fitzgerald, okay, the officers arrived 7.13 p.m. on the evening of Tuesday, August 2nd. According to the report, Lucas was laying unconscious on the, on the bathroom floor. There were no signs consistent with life. This is August 2nd, 2016. Okay. How did Sean Lucas die? How did Sean Lucas die? You have one person recently got hit in the head with an object. You have another person, a DNC staffer, shot in the back twice. Botched robbery. Okay. How did Sean Lucas, who was the process server for Jared Beck, and handed, served the DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz on behalf of Bernie supporters this year on July 1st? So how did he, how did he die? We're going to get to that in a second. Okay, Sean Lucas, process server for Bernie Sanders supporters. Lawsuit died 
of powerful mix of drugs. The Chief Medical Examiner's Office for Washington, D.C. has released the findings on the cause of death. This was November 1st, 2016. Of Sean Lucas, the 38-year-old process server who served the complaint against the Democratic National Committee and Debbie Wasserman Schultz on behalf of Senator Bernie Sanders supporters on July 1st, late, late July. We have the DNC WikiLeaks emails. In July, we have the DNC being sued. We have uh, Seth Rich just coincidentally being shot in the back. It's all coincidence. Dave Weigel at the Washington Post. It's just coincidence. Okay. Then we have Sean Lucas dying a little over a week later. So you have the lawsuit. Then you have Seth Rich's death. Then you have the, the DNC WikiLeaks lost emails. Then you have Sean Lucas's death. All coincidence. And you have a DNC lawsuit that's gaining steam, likely gaining steam, and you have a federal prosecutor in Miami who is murdered just the other day. All right. I just told you more. I don't. I just gave you more circumstantial evidence than anyone could ever use to paint Trump as a Russian spy. And yet, this is all conspiracy to the CNN, Oliver Darcy's, and the, uh, the BuzzFeed's. But I'll continue. How did this? How did this seemingly healthy? If you watch, and every everybody everybody subscribe to the the if you watch the video where Sean Lucas goes ahead and serves the DNC, I will I will link that video. I'll leave that video below. You got served DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz get served. Everybody subscribe to Jam Pack. It's 812 subscribers, and it needs to be 812,000 subscribers. This is a YouTube channel directly related to the DNC lawsuit. Everybody subscribe. 606,000 views. I'll put the link below of of this of of Sean Lucas serving the DNC, but let's get to exactly what it is that he died of. So you have two shots in the back. Okay, nothing taken. Um, then you have a person recently who is just hit in the head and dies. But with Sean Lucas, According to an email today received from the communications office of the chief medical examiner, the cause of death was a, quote, combined adverse effects of fentanyl, cyclobenzaprine, and mitragynine. The manner of death was listed as an accident, but my question, though, is how on earth do you combine those three? If you watch the jam pack video of him, of just Sean Lucas serving the DNC, he doesn't seem like he's in pain going up the stairs. He seems jovial. He doesn't seem like well there's no way to know about depression but these are muscle relaxers according to the mayo clinic our national institute of drug abuse calls fentanyl a powerful synthetic opo uh, opioid analgesic that is similar to morphine but is 50 to 100 times more potent uh, mo more potent it is a schedule 2 prescription drug did he have a prescription for this nobody's asked Everybody who knows him says he wasn't a drug user. I nobody who's nobody who knows him, from what I can read, either online or stated that he had some any kind of chronic, serious, debilitating pain. You know, I, I'm into. I, I love. Uh, I just love like you know, old school WWF, those old wrestlers. I love them. Uh, Roddy Roddy Piper and and Macho Man Randy Savage and. Um, you know, Jake the Snake and, and Hulk Hogan, and, um, you know, all, all, all the uh, all the all the old school and then even some the newer ones, Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, you know, just all I just love that. It's actually more real. It actually is very, very real that what they're doing. They're tremendous athletes. Uh, and it's just 
such a beautiful kind of almost Shakespearean event. I know that people will say, oh, what are you talking about? No, but the emotions and the physicality and the um, talent of just the, the, the athletic talent is unbelievable. But what I mean is more genuine than politics. Uh, a lot more genuine. All of this, this political theater that we have is not only fabricated, very likely people are dying because of either what they've done or what they know or some kind of message being sent. Again, nobody is saying that Hillary Clinton deliberately, you know, told somebody to kill Sean Lucas. But how on earth do you go ahead? And let me just finish. Drug enforcement agent. Okay, so according to the Mayo Clinic, uh, cyclobenzaprine is used to help relax certain muscles in your body. According to the drug uh, DEA said in August um, that mitrogynine and opioid, opioid is, is being placed in Schedule 1 to avoid Im imminent hazard in the public safety. <laughs> the lawsuit on behalf of Bernie supporters uh, leveled the following serious charges against the DNC in depriving Bernie Sanders of a level playing field. Fraud, negligent, uh, misrepresentation, deceptive con conduct, unjust enrichment, breach of fiduciary duty and negligence. That's Debbie Wasserman Schultz's middle name. Those, those are the middle names of Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Donna Brazil and Brian Fallon and Robbie Mook, all of them. The most dirty, underhanded, disgusting group of people. But how do you, sorry for this rambling, but how do you mix, if you're Sean Lucas, you just are part of U.S. history, just like Seth Rich, you die within weeks of serving the DNC, the DNC WikiLeaks emails, Seth Rich's death, all of which happen to coincide coincidentally, all of which are linked to much, much bigger stories like the Russian hacking probe, which is a joke. Um, President Obama was Vladimir Putin's favorite candidate in 08 compared to McCain, and he stated that overtly in a Guardian article. So, how do you mix these three powerful drugs together? When, how do you say that Sean Lucas died? And this is where it's not, there's no way anybody can say conspiracy theory. How do you mix it together? How do you mix these together when you either need a prescription or Sean Lucas has to be, did he have some kind of debilitating illness or where he was experiencing tremendous pain because you wouldn't use those three for just insomnia that's the type of like the reason i brought up the uh i don't even know the reason i brought up the, the wrestlers a lot of the a lot of those wrestlers um not the ones i named obviously but the ones that have died prematurely a lot of that was because of the, the pain medication or the um the the, the drug uh, pain relievers and these types of drugs but not in a cocktail so my question is how on earth did Sean Lucas get those three drugs in his system to Dave Weagle at the Washington Post it would be well obviously he just bought them and, 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 and mixed them up well then why is there any link to shot, uh, Seth Rich being shot in the back twice? No, no link at all. Okay. Um, what about the DNC WikiLeaks emails that were taking place um, around the same time? Nope, just the coincidence. The DNC lawsuit too, just a coincidence. The death by barbell from. Another individual linked to this? No, 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 just coincidence. I'll get to that. I'll get to that gentleman in another, that poor gentleman in another segment. So these are all just deaths that are deemed accidents or coincidence or botched robberies. Nobody is saying that Debbie Wasserman Schultz deliberately killed Sean Lucas. What I'm asking to my amazing subscribers below if you have any um, knowledge of these chemicals or opioids or um, muscle relaxers, fentanyl, 
cyclobenzaprine, and mitragynine. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing them correctly, but how would you con how would you combine all three? And do you think that it's possible that he Sean Lucas was using them just to to you know to heal to mask a certain pain, or do you think it's almost certainly that somebody tried to uh, poison him and kill him? I think he was murdered. So, and for a democratic and liberal uh, media establishment that is taking, that views James Comey's Marlboro napkin notes uh, about a meeting with Trump as evidence when he could have written those notes yesterday or tomorrow, um, that and, and all of this, the NSA is moderately confident. The DNC has yet to give its computer service to the FBI. Their preferred um, tech firm, CrowdStrike, is the only company or the, one of the only private companies that have seen the DNC servers. And the, it's only private companies. It's not sanctioned by the DNC. It's not the good US government. Then you have overt media collusion. Then you have everything we learned from the DNC WikiLeaks emails. Then you have the fact that there is an ongoing DNC fraud lawsuit that's picking up steam. If somebody dies, again, that's in some way linked to all of this, that will shed that will shed light on Seth Rich, Sean Lucas. Um, that will shed light on everything that is going on today in terms of a media blackout pertaining to DNC WikiLeaks, a DNC lawsuit, and the Seth Rich murders. Barrington J. Uh, Weisenant hit in the head, died, three children. And I just don't see how none of this is linked together in some way. Not conspiracy just using the logic of Trump Russia in a far more uh, logical, albeit long-winded uh, train of thought. If you think that Trump's going to be impeached, but you don't think that all of these three murders have something to do with one another or the Democratic Party in some way, I don't know what to tell you. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment. Sean Lucas is a hero. Give me your thoughts below and and he will be a hero forever. He what he did to will live he, he'll live forever serving the DNC. And uh I tell you he, the, the guy reminds me of myself. I mean, I would be that happy serving the DNC after what they did to Bernie Sanders and after what they did to cheat this country of a, a very different future. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.